Canva AI code tutorial, how to use Canva AI code for beginners step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Canva AI code. Now Canva has dropped this amazing bombshell, which is Canva AI and the utility of this is very ingenious. So we all know Canva as a really popular design tool. However, Canva has now expanded and it has become a full fledged website builder and a application builder with the power of AI. So what are the purposes of using this? Why does it matter? And how can we access this? Starting off, Canva code is a tool within Canva AI and Canva AI is a tool which can help you in describing and creating any idea and you can bring it to life. You have four basic functionalities such as design for me, create an image, draft a doc or code for me. So you have these four basic functionalities. You can enter your prompt by typing it out or you can also chat using your voice. You can also add media. So if you have any designs or files that you would like to relate, you can upload them in Canva and then link them over here. So what about Canva AI coding? Well, Canva is able to build applications for you with the help of coding. If you click on the code with me section and you scroll down, you will see all these different options. And if you're looking for where Canva AI is going to be, if you just log on to your Canva account right now, you will see this is what your dashboard is going to look like. Canva AI is directly on your home screen, but if you want, you can also access Canva AI simply by clicking on the icon on the left. Once you do that, you're going to select code with me. Now, if you scroll down, you can see a few different use cases. So an interactive pricing calculator that I can share with my clients, an interactive historical timeline, a interactive menu for my restaurant, flashcard game, simple countdown timer, a digital birthday card that explodes with confetti, a 3D game exploring space, a color accessibility stimulator, a fun memory matching game, a vocabulary matching game, and a sorting activity for my class. So we have several different applications from classrooms, birthdays to your work. It can be related to everything. So starting off, let's take a look at this particular one. So if I click on this, click on any of the pre-existing templates, this will fill out the prompt. So an SVG based digital celebration card with modern animations with a birthday card for Emma. Instead of Emma, I'm just going to change the name to Lily. Featuring confetti animations, a soft blue little pink gradient, and an interactive elements that trigger when clicked. As a follow-up, ask me about a recipient name, celebration type, color palette, message to display, animation style, and preferences. So from here, I'm just going to paste it in just as it is, and it's starting to uh, take into account uh, what I have typed in. And when it realizes it's a code-based prompt, it's going to start coding. And you guys can see it has already coded like 59, 60 lines in the span of a few seconds. So we're going to wait for the entire application to be coded with Canva AI. And once this has been completed, we can view what the application is going to be like when we actually use it. And just like so, our entire code has been completed. Now, when you take a look at what it has generated, this is an interactive birthday card for Lily. Try clicking on the cake to reveal. And just like this, this is the reveal. From here, there are questions that I asked it to ask me because in my original prompt, I asked me about my color palette and some animation displays. So who is this card for and what are we celebrating? What color palette do you prefer? And what special message would you like to display? So this is just the first version. And if I click on it, it has confetti. Now I want to make this a bit more extreme and a bit more maximalist. So I'm going to ask it to uh, create a openable card where the confetti is more extreme and the special message is happy birthday loser. Let's say that's the message that I want to give to my friend or myself and I want the colors make the colors more vibrant and multicolor like this. Now I have customized the basic prompt and now I'm giving it some other instructions to take into account. So now it's it's really taking only like two minutes to generate the entire application, which is a substantially low time for an entire application to be created. So we're just going to wait until this has been created and then we can move forward. And right now it has coded over 248 lines 
for us which is amazing and the more detailed you are obviously the better the confetti or the entire card or your application is going to be these are very simple prompts if you actually want to create a very complicated application canva does have the ability to create those more complicated applications and to execute those more complicated commands as well so you don't have to limit yourself just to simple easy applications because canva is expanding and it has broadened the overall capability of canva ai so let's just wait and right now because i made the confetti more extreme you guys can see it has been creating more glitter particles and from here it has generated the second version and you guys can see this is so much more bright as i asked it and i asked it to make it multi-color when i open the card wishing you a day filled with as much awesomeness as you can handle and it says happy birthday loser and this is such a beautiful card now once you have generated your application you can click on use in a design on the top right and once you do that your application element will be added here and you can publish this as a website like so and your application can become a web application this is just a basic birthday card however if you want you can make this a application for your business and you can make this a private website you can go into your publishing settings and make your website private where you have password protection so if i was to create an inventory management application i could do that as well for example i want to create create a inventory management application for my makeup business with five products like this and right now it is building my application and i'm just going to wait for it to be built up and i'll show you guys how publishing can work so for a birthday card i don't mind even if other people view it so i can click on publish website and i'm going to go into the publishing settings if i want i can enable password protection link previews and search engine visibility can also be disabled but i'm going to make this a public card and i'm just going to publish my design and then I can click on view website and once I click on view website you guys can see our website is being published and then if I click on this this is what my website is going to look like so this is my web application on my website but my web app now from here my other application is being created and for more private applications that are reserved for your business or for a particular team you can enable password protection so let's just wait and see the execution of this application as well so just right now our application has been built and you guys can see we have the ability to add products generate reports we have five products that were added by default then we have stock options price options the total value of my stock and then editing options as well as categories and we can filter them out based upon the category or the stock levels and i can click on using a design and i have a ready made custom tailored inventory management web application for my business all i have to do is publish my website and I'm just going to scroll down into advanced settings, enable password protection, and keep the strong password. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.